Um, so, <laughs> um, the American ones, your teeth kind of bounce. It's almost like chewing on a piece of rubber for the first two or three bites until they start to dissolve. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to do a candy tack comparison of three kinds of gummy bears from three different countries. Okay, so the three kinds of gummy bears I have are Black Forest Organic Gummy Bears from Germany. These are Taverner's Wine Gummies. They're actually not gummy bears, but they're called wine gummies. I've never tried these before. Uh, these are made in the UK. And these gummies are just regular old regular American gummy bears, generic brand from, I think these are CVS, oh no, Publix. I got them at Publix, the supermarket. And these are made in the U.S. somewhere. Lakeland, Florida. All right, so here we go. Now, we already know what the regular gummies are like, but I'm going to go ahead and open the bag. There we go. Now, already just feeling the bag, I can feel that the American gummies are softer than the other two. Well, actually, the organic gummies are soft. The wine gums, the wine gums, they're called wine gums, feel a little bit firmer through the bag. Another thing I want to mention is that gummies have gelatin in them. So they are not vegan, they're not even vegetarian. Because gelatin is made from animal byproducts. Uh, mainly pig's feet, for example, or uh, cow hooves, or, you know, parts that they melt down somehow. And, you know, so unfortunately, now you can get, you are able to get vegan jello uh, made with pectin, which is a fruit gelatin. But most likely, although it doesn't say on all but one of the bags, it doesn't say what kind of gelatin it is, but most likely, since it's not labeled as vegan or vegetarian, most likely it is made from animal uh, product gelatin. But, so that's something I learned recently, but it should be aware. So even though I am a vegetarian, ordinarily I wouldn't be eating these. But, uh, but the interesting thing, these tell you the ingredients, and they, all of them say gelatin. You know, this the organic ones are made with tapioca syrup, organic cane sugar, it says gelatin, organic lemon juice concentrate, organic tapioca starch, you know, then some different juices from different veg, uh, different juices from different fruits. Um, Coloring is made with radish and cherry juice for some of the colors, you know, so it's all organic. It's made with wax, car, carnauba wax. And so these are organic, but not vegetarian, just pointing that out. Uh, these are made with um, high fructose corn syrup and some apple juices in them too and, you know, other stuff. Sodium citrate and artificial and natural and artificial flavors, coconut oil, you know, so, and the interesting about these, the wine gums, the wine gums are made, it specifically says, uh, made with, you know, sugar, cornstarch, high glucose syrup, which is from wheat, not corn syrup, um, colors, etc., turmeric, which is an, it's, turmeric is a spice, Turmeric oleoresins, that will give it the color for the yellow ones. Paprika extract would probably be the one that's coloring the red ones. So it's semi-organic, it sounds like. And what's interesting, it specifies beef gelatin as one of the ingredients. So the gelatin in this is specifically beef byproduct gelatin, which probably means cow horns and cow hooves. So it doesn't make it any better, but it's actually slightly more transparent. 
And not only is it showing, stating that it's made with beef gelatin, you know that it's only beef. It's not any other kind of chicken beaks or, you know, whatever they get gelatin from. So let's start with the regular old American gummies, which sounds so boring next to the other two. But sometimes, even so, I like the, the artificial tasting stuff better. But So I'm just, I mean, you know, it comes with the several colors. We have the green. We have some, you know, just several colors. The, t the flavors, I don't know how different they are from each other, but, you know, they've got that gummy texture. They're good. I like them. Mm. Even though I'm putting two or three into my mouth at the same time, I don't taste much difference, which, although the colors are all different from each other. As far as flavor, they all taste pretty much the same. They're just different colors. And the only thing it says in there is, yeah, apple juice from concentrate, then natural artificial flavors. So I'm guessing they're all apple juice flavored. They, they all do kind of taste apple-y. Let me try one more of these to see if this color is a different flavor. No, I really don't distinguish much flavor difference between them. They all taste the same, but they're good. They're yummy, they're sweet. They're, if you like the gummy texture, you'll like these. So that's that one. Let's move on to the next one. This is These are the ones from Germany, which I know they also make chocolates. This has different, you know, juices. So I'm guessing they're going to taste different from each other. And actually on the back it even tells you the flavors that each of them is. Pineapple, cherry, orange, lemon, and what's that? Apple. Okay, five fruity flavors. So I'm just going to take two of them because like I said I'm kind of in rushing because I'm afraid the battery's going to run out. So I'll just take two different ones and see if they vary in flavor from each other. So let's get like a really dark one. Like here's the cherry one. I should probably drink th something in between so I don't have the flavor from the last ones, but it's my dog. Mmm. Okay, these are a little easier on the on the chewing. If you have bad teeth, like if you're an old person, these are a little bit easier on the teeth. They're gummy. The flavor is very strong. You can really taste the cherry, for example. It's a, a burst of flavor as compared to the American ones. So that's the first thing I noticed right off. The texture is easier on the teeth. They still are gummy, but it's like your teeth sink into it. They don't, they don't bounce. Let me let the dog in. Um, so... <laughs> Um, the American ones, your teeth kind of bounce. It's almost like chewing on a piece of rubber for the first two or three bites until they start to dissolve. So, you know, I don't like to diss the USA. You know, I, I am from the USA, so I always prefer USA products over other ones. But if the quality of another product is better. Now, as far as price, oh, I don't remember the price. I wonder if I still have the receipt. I think I did throw out the receipt this morning. CVS. Uh, I believe I did. What a pity. Because I don't remember the price. But Oh, I wrapped my... Oh, I have the receipt. Don't eat them, Smokey. I, I chewed a piece of gum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the receipt, but I, I spit out a piece of gum in it. But let's see if I can see the price. Okay, so the... Black Forest gummies were $2.99 for 8 ounces. The Taverner's Wine Gums, which we haven't tried yet, are $2.35 2 for 5.8 ounces. So you're getting less candy and the price is, you know, not that much less than... And then the generic Public Gummy Bears 
were two bags for four dollars and I bought uh, two bags for four dollars so that's two dollars for one bag because they were on the special you know so they're all rain they all actually are under three dollars and these you're getting a lot more for your buck though so you know this weighs mm, oh 13 ounces so 13 ounces are two dollars eight ounces for practically three dollars and then this one is two dollars and thirty something wasn't it for a small amount for five oh silly me there we go again two dollars and thirty five cents for about five ounces so the prices are competitive okay i'll just dump it out onto my hand the tavern tap Woo! that's got wine smell coming out of it no i guess they're made with wine why are they so strong let's see i didn't recall there being wine as a as one of the ingredients but there is a winey smell coming out but i think that's the turmeric Turmeric is what they use to make mustard. This is, hmm, these are going to be interesting. So, there, there's no wine as the ingredients. These are the ingredients in this. It even has spirulina. Spirulina. So, this, you know. All right, so we have this one. Interesting. These are more like juji fruits, but again, better quality juji fruits. So these really should not be compared to gummy bears. These are a better comparison to juji fruits in the United States. But these are really, you know, hmm. You know, I really should cut down on my candy consumption and I should probably start buying better quality candy, which costs more and I'll probably end up buying less because, you know, you get less because it's better quality and mm, I really like these. Mm, wow. Out of the three, these win. These are incredible. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm I'm kind of a cheapskate, especially now that, <laughs> that I'm always like on a budget, but these are definitely, oh my gosh. These are good. I'll admit, these are good. Um, I shouldn't be enjoying these so much because they do have beef gelatin in them. They, they're not vegan, they're not vegetarian. You know, if they would change that to pectin, I'm going to write to the company and tell them, could you come out with a vegan version of this candy? Because if it weren't for that, oh my goodness, these the texture of these are, it's like, that's the only way I can describe it. Our American juji fruits, but they don't stick. Mmm. Okay, that's grape. You can, you can taste this, the turmeric, you know, turmeric is a very strong uh, flavor, but these are like that turmeric, which are just the perfect balance with the fruit flavor, unless the turmeric is only on the yellow one. Let me see. Let me, I'm going to get a yellow one. This, and then the, what it says on it is, this says, it says something on there, but I can't see it. I don't know what that says. Maybe you can see what it says. It must say, it doesn't say taverners. It looks like Rioja. Do they all say that? No, they all have different things. Um, all right. These are awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, UK, you have convinced me that 
Even though I try to buy American. I'm sorry, Smokey. You can't have this. This is bad for you. Um, and you're blocking me. <laughs> Come over here if you want to be on camera. All right, I'm not going to keep eating these. But So in order of deliciousness, these are in a class by themselves. They're not gummy. They're more chewy, juji fruit. These would come in second place today as compared to the three. And these are just your good old go-to gummies when you just want to eat a lot of sugar. Smokey, did you say hi, sweetie? Did you say hi to, to the friends? Yeah, look how old he's getting. Mm. 